Good morning everyone, it's the 24th of October 2022, welcome to my channel. Um, today we're going to be doing a little bit of a longer um, video because lots has been happening over the weekend energetically and we have the Scorpio Eclipse New Moon tomorrow here in the UK. So I just want to talk a little bit about uh, yesterday's energy, Sunday, was Saturn going direct and this was teacher, you know, that's been in retrograde for the last four months and over those four months you've been appreciating your life slowing down and and really appreciating what you have it's also taught us to be patient it's also taught us to be accepting of ourselves right what else let me just check on elizabeth oh and being personal responsible for ourselves remembering that we're only responsible for ourselves not for anybody else apart from anyone under the age of 18 so being personally responsible so that that has now gone direct so things are a little bit less weighted today we've got jupiter in alignment with the sun and venus because we've got venus two degrees um opposite the moon tomorrow so that's about abundance it's about self-reflection self-worth all of that so today is about jupiter working in alignment with both the sun and venus before the eclipse to activate and elevate your inner self-worth and trust in your natural abilities. So it's about, you know, the new moon and there's so many elements to this eclipse. But one of the main themes is your self-worth and calling back your power. So it's putting up boundaries. It's it's deciding on what you're, you're done with, you know, and it's done on your terms, not on anybody else's terms. It's like, I'm not going to play your games no more. I'm done with you or I'm done with the situation. So let's have a look at what I wrote about the eclipse before we buy pull some cards. So you're going to be opening up to things emotionally, stepping into your power, reclaiming your power, as I said. And you're going to be looking at how worthy you feel to receive, how confident you feel and what you need to feel loved. So what is it? What do you need to ask for from those around you and yourself to feel love? Because remember, you have to love you first. So all of the love you need really is inside of you in your heart. So it's about coming out of the head into the heart, doing some heart breath work, which is what I'm going to be doing with my Soul to Soul membership group tomorrow night. If you want to be part of that, you're more than welcome to join us. It's tomorrow at 7pm UK time. So we're also, with Venus being um, in the alignment with the moon, two degrees, um, it's taken us back to October 2018. So four years ago, something was opened up and revealed to you. Boy, was it to me. But um, this was the beginning of that opening up and revealing. So four years later, you're realising how you gave your power to another absolutely and you're now reclaiming it back you're stepping into your heart and what your heart needs to nurture you um also things are going to be coming up this uh, new moon for us to deal with soul contracts um are going to be coming to an end we are going to have to face stuff and this could be relationships jobs health um soul contracts uh are coming up that are no longer working uh, so if you are an overgiver in a relationship you're not going to be able to do that anymore you will need to become aware of what you need to seek from others as well as yourself and trust and this could be trust honesty authenticity um safety so i wrote so much um I say so what or who has previously hurt you why did you not feel in your power where did you not feel your power connected to parenting maybe a friendship a sibling a relationship um where were you unable to stand in your power and speak your truth um you're now going to be shown how your power was taken away from you um, this could be through habits, behaviours, people, karma, patterns. Um, so you could look back down the ancestral line as well to see if there's any uh, family patterns that are still playing out here that need to release. Um, 
this is the time I've put here, this is the time you will realise you're clearing out on a deep level all the old contracts that no longer serve you. So you'll get to a point where you've tried everything, you've said everything, you, and you're just realised you're done. There's nothing else you can do. So, but what is good about that is you've tried all which way, but you haven't been met halfway um, and you're done on your terms. It's like, I'm done. I'm done now. So you may well find yourself being people around you trying to pull you back into situations. Um, but once you've made this decision that you're done for your highest good, your energy knows it's done and the energy will come back to you and obviously call it back as well. Uh, what else have I written here? When you're claiming back your power, it also enables you to seek deeper connections. This could bring up that you don't feel good enough. So just remember you are good enough. Um, and it is about how you love yourself what healing in your relationships is being shown to you now you've got to connect to your self-love and how do you love yourself how do you cherish yourself respect yourself re validate yourself so what has been carried in your heart for some time feels very heavy now and it doesn't feel right anymore and so this is the opportunity under this new moon to create a new way of being. So what's been holding you back? The time is now is to blast it away like a jet wash. Um, so something needs to be cleaned out deeply. So contracts, like I said, are trying to step back in. They may well try and step back in and try and claim back your power. But you will no longer be showing up for these relationships. Like I said, you're done. You will no longer engage. You've tapped out of the control game. It's like, no thanks. Done that one. Got the t-shirt and the badge. Um, you're not staying on the merry-go-round. You're not going to keep going back playing those old stories or playing that game with people. You're establishing new boundaries because you're standing in your own power. And you have more self-worth. Oh, my nose is itching. Good clarification from spirit there. So... What else do I want to say? Yeah, I think that it is about connecting into your golden light in your solar plexus. So use the solar plexus um, uh, coaster and Amanda's golden spray. Let me see if I've got the solar plexus to hand here. There we go. There we go. Oops, not great. There you go. You can see that now. So use that. I'm going to put that under my tea that I've got here, which I'm going to have a slurp of. Mm. Great. So I've got a couple of decks on my desk here. I thought we'd have a bit of fun as well because, you know, it is quite a heavy new moon. And remember to put your new moon wishes in. Remember, what is it that you want to create in your life in the next six months? Is it perfect health? Is it standing in your power, speaking your truth, getting a new job, leaving a relationship, cutting yourself off from... Um, relationships that you're done with situations that you're done with um, yeah put those in your new moon wishes now I've got a new deck of cards you know I love my cards and this one's called Astro the astrology deck by Lily Ashwell so I thought we'd have a card from here today I've got three decks so I'm going to take one card from each deck and see what we get so Metatron, what, do you, what do you want to say from this deck please one card from this deck one fire confidence optimism passion and bravery yeah that's a nice card actually look at that heart reminding us to go into our heart fire is about firing up your energy courage determination also can be a bit anger coming up that's okay just release that let it go but more about confidence and optimism passion bravery stepping into the new and you've got this beautiful light here look can you see 
shining brightly, but you're connected to your heart. It's your, you're grounded in your heart. We've got that angelic support as well. I like that. I feel like that's Raphael giving us a bit of heart healing, which is what we're going to need. So we're going to have a, a card from the Queen of the Moon Oracle. And I've also got the Unicorn deck. don't know why I was just drawn to pull from that deck as well. So let's have one card from the Queen of the Moon Oracle. What message have you got? Oh, those. Oh, we got three. Okay, fine. There's obviously a reason for that. Let's see what we got. Okay, so we got the path. Obviously, when we have um, any eclipses, it vamps up the energy, but it also gives us this opportunity to step through a gateway, a portal, if you like. And she's sort of seeing out into the distance here and really thinking about, does she want to move forward? Does she want to stay? Does she need to spend a bit more time here contemplating before she climbs up the ladder into the new? But look at this beautiful light that's awaiting her. She's got the galactic stars all around her helping support her. So the path, what is your path ahead? Have you fallen off your path or are you trying to get onto a new path? Or... Are you just so focused, you know where you're going and you know what you're doing? So you've got this opportunity to, to enter this pathway. Also, we've got the card of surrender. So surrender to the outcome of things. This is not easy to do, is it, sometimes? But surrendering to the universe, because they have our back and they will get us on the right path. Um, we just need to listen to the inner guidance and wisdom that they give us. But surrendering. When we worry too much, we become anxious. I'm, I'm in that space at the moment. We have to surrender to the outcome for the highest good and know that everything happens for a reason. And then we've got the card of pleasure. So we've got pleasure energy coming in, some fun coming in. We're just opening up to, right, I'm going to manifest for the next six months, whatever it is. Pleasure being one of them, yeah? And maybe surrendering to the outcome of that. That's nice, I like that. And let's pull a unicorn card because I've gone well over time today. But it feels potent, um, the eclipse energy. Right, we've got expansion. Spread your wings and soar. Share your message and shine your light. Show the world what you're made of. Yeah, come back into that power. Reclaim your power and fly and soar and shine your light because the light is needed so much at this time. This is not easy times to be living in, is it? For one reason or another. So I send you all lots of love. Lots of light. So that is the reading for today. I hope that helps some of you. And again, if you want to work with me one-to-one, -one, contact me on michellewestinfo at gmail.com. Be more than happy to hold space for you to unravel any of your relationship situations you might find in your thought patterns, your emotions, because our emotions are always connected to a physical ailment. And I'm working through my own. I never sit here preaching to you. I'm always doing work on myself. Because when I do that, it enables me to share it with the world. So lots of love. Take care of yourselves. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye for now. Oh, remember, it's half terms. If I don't show up every day, it's because I've got tied up with the kids. <laughs> but I'll do as many videos as I can this week. I plan to do one every day. Maybe not Friday because my internet's going off. Um, because I've got an upgrade happening. But other than that, I plan to be here. Lots of love. Take care. Bye for now.